G'day everyone, my name is Michaela and I am a Boss Curl Co Ambassador and Curl Educator. I live up in the hot northern territory and today I'm going to teach you about how to get maximum hydration benefits from our two masks, the Treat Your Hair Right 10 Minute Mask and the Quickie Fix Bring Mask. Now, in order to execute this perfectly for maximum hydration, you're going to need a few other products on hand. You're going to need a spray bottle, a detangling brush, and a plastic cap. Start by moistening your hair. Now, as you can see, mine is in need of hydration. It's been in the bun all week. It's just a frizzy mess, as expected up in the tropics. But that's going to happen anywhere. Your hair, if you have curls, needs hydration in order for the curls to stay defined and beautiful. So I split it off into three sections first and slowly dampen it down using the continuous mist spray bottle. So just taking small sections and watering it down, not so that it's completely wet, but it's just a little bit damp and you can really get going with it. This is going to help the product move through the hair a little bit easier and it also helps with that maximum hydration. We will just continue to wet it down a little bit there. Now you'll see I'm only wetting the mid lengths to ends because that's where the mask is going to be applied. There's no need, it's actually not beneficial to apply it to your roots because it's going to weigh down your hair and it's just not going to work as well. Mid lengths to ends is where the curls do the hydration so just try and stick to that with the water and that's also going to help to avoid getting it on the roots because they're going to be quite dry and it's going to be harder to spread through if you do get any on the roots. I'm going to again split my hair into three sections. So starting with the bottom layer, as you can see, it's lightly wet, but not saturated. That's the point here. We don't want to saturate the hair with water, we want to saturate it with the mask. So I like to go in with my mask here. Beautiful, treat your hair right. And as you can see, she's a fresh one, so I'm just going to pop her open. Look at that mask. I'm going to use this first, that should be the perfect amount for the bottom layer of my hair. So I'm just going to work it through. It through the hair and make sure that it is evenly distributed. We go ahead and repeat this step for two more layers of my hair, or how many layers you need to do for yours. Now, if your hair is incredibly dehydrated and it needs a little bit of extra hydration, what you can do is really squish that product into your hair follicle. Um, I do it like this and just grab a small piece and really, really squeezing it into that follicle. Then you're going to want to pop a plastic cap on and leave it for 10 minutes or more. But 10 minutes is the minimum and anything over that is just extra. Now, if you don't have time to do it in the way that I've shown you today, you can apply this in the shower after shampoo and conditioning. Obviously, the optimal choice for shampoo and conditioner would be the hydrating range, and then you would just shampoo, condition, pop the mask in, leave it for 10 minutes while you're shaving your legs, washing your face, washing your body, all those bits and pieces, and then rinse it out and you're good to go. However, if you have applied it in the method of which I'm showing you today, the next step, once you've left this in for the 10 minutes, would be to jump in the shower, use this hydrating shampoo as a preferred product. Honestly, it goes such a long way, you only need a small amount and it will spread through your whole roots. And this little beauty here is a scalp scrubber and it will help to make sure that the shampoo stays on your scalp and is evenly distributed through your scalp. Also helps to promote hair growth through the massaging. Once you've shampooed it, as I said, you only want to shampoo the roots. You never want to shampoo your mid-lengths and ends unless you're doing a clarifying wash um, because that's just going to dry out your ends a little bit more. Once you've finished with the shampoo, there's no need to apply extra conditioner as you've already really hydrated your hair and that's just going to weigh it down more. So after you've washed out the roots, you're welcome to just jump out the shower, dry in your preferred method, whether that be air drying or diffusing, and then style it with your products. Now while I'm waiting for my 10 minutes to be completed, I thought I would just quickly touch on the difference between these two masks and the different way to use them. This one, as I've shown, best use on dry, slightly dampened hair. However, this one is a great one for just a quick fix while you're in the shower. You've already washed, conditioned, and you just want that extra bit of hydration and silkiness, go for the quick fix. So you've got the time, use the 10 minute, and do it in this method. So as you can see, my hair is nice and dry now. I have given it an air dry. That is my personal preference, and it does come down to personal preference whether you choose to air dry or diffuse. 
However, in conjunction with air drying, I have also used three of my favourite Boss Girl Code products, which are the Control Freak Curl Custard, the Curl's Best Friend Leave-In Conditioner, and the Scrunch and the Crunch No Frizz Oil. These are my top three. The conjunction of those three products in line with having hair that has been recently treated with the Treat Your Hair Right Mask. I'm absolutely obsessed with my results today. Just a reminder that we do have an amazing Facebook book community. If you're ever curious and you have any questions and you're unsure what product your hair needs on a particular day, you're more than welcome to jump in there. It's been an absolute pleasure sharing this with you and I can't wait to share the next tutorial I have for you guys. Thanks.